How's it going everyone? It's Adam from Life of Adam and today I'm going to be exposing the myth surrounding becoming a lifeguard and taking the lifeguarding course. Now if you talk to some lifeguards, you probably ask them, is it hard? Like what's the course like? And they'll probably tell you, yeah, you got to be able to do this. You got to be able to backboard. You got to be able to tread water for this amount of time. You got to be able to do all these fancy type of things. And meanwhile, you're just sitting there having no idea what this person's talking about. Now today I'm going to show you guys the three things. There's only three things you have to do to be very successful and become a lifeguard. It's just how the course is made up. So the first thing is to swimming portion, you have to swim for 300 yards. Now you need to have a lot of energy, you have to have very good endurance, and you just gotta do front crawl or breaststroke for 300 yards. Now, it doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be the best, but you have to do it. You can pace yourself, you don't have to go super quickly like everyone says you have to. Pace yourself, get that done, and you're just one third of the way to becoming a lifeguard. And I'll explain it a little bit later on in this video, but just hear me out for one second. Now, the second thing you have to do is you have to tread water with no hands for two minutes. Now, this is actually pretty easy, especially if you're very good, if you like naturally float, which a lot of people end up doing, they just naturally float. So it doesn't even feel like they're moving. They're just kind of like making circles with their legs and they are treading. Now, I have videos on this. I have the video on the 300 meter swim. I have a video on the treading. So definitely check that out. But all you gotta do is tread for two minutes with your arms like this. It goes by quickly. They'll ask you like where you go to school, where you wanna work, stuff like that. So you will be distracted. It goes by very quickly. And right there, you're two thirds of the way done. Now, the last thing you have to do is do the brick dive, which is extremely easy. I have another video on that. All you gotta do is swim halfway across the pool, do a surface dive, which is basically like you push the water up, you sink under, and you kind of like push the water with your hands and you just grab the brick push off the floor even though you're not supposed to but they can't see you because the pool's like 12 feet deep you push off the floor hold on your chest and you just kick which is extremely easy you might get nervous especially if there's a lot of people watching but trust me these three things are very doable and you're literally 100 percent done with becoming a lifeguard now you're probably confused just like wait 100 percent done with becoming a lifeguard don't have to do all these rescues don't have to do the written tests and all that the best thing about taking the course is that once you do the pretest and you pass the pretest, everything else, they'll literally hold your hand the entire way. Now, what I mean by that is that if you mess up during rescues, if you mess up during like compact jumps, stride jumps, you're there to practice. They know you can swim because you did the 300 meters, you did the treading, you did the brick dive. So literally you can mess up all you want and it will not matter because you were allowed to be there because of the pretest. Now, the only thing that matters later is the written test, which I have another video on that. So definitely check that out. You have to pass the written test, but basically you're gonna be 100% set because they're literally gonna hold your hand and show you how to do every single rescue and you're gonna practice it like a million times. So you'll 100% be ready to go and you will become an excellent lifeguard. So I hope you guys enjoy, definitely check out all those videos that I was talking about because they will definitely help you when you take the course and you will definitely pass. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.